So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 13 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the center at the bottom, the fuel gauge. And at the top, you can see the total mass of this car, which is 60,242. You can change information that's displayed there for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information by pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk back round to where we started again. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have stereo and phone controls on the left-hand side and over on the right-hand side, the cruise control for the car. In the center, you'll find the main stereo itself. Uh, the buttons down here are what you will use uh, and the screen directly above it. Uh, so you can see, firstly, this car's got auxiliary input. No USB device. It's got USB input as well and Bluetooth audio. Uh, if you want to listen to your own music, you can, oh, sorry, the radio, you can do so via DAB. Uh, you can also use the FM and AM radio as well. Every push of the radio button will take you around a different wave band back to the DAB where we started just a moment ago. You can, of course, pair your phone uh, from this main unit as well. And once you've done so, you can use... Uh, the phone to obviously make and receive phone calls and stream your music wirelessly via that Bluetooth audio. And as I say, all the buttons are here. The main volume is this dial just there. We have deadlock, so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. And then working our way down, we have climate control for the car. So you can adjust the fan speed here. You can adjust the temperature, the direction the air is being distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, rear conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off back on again or hit auto the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking control of the direction of the air and the fan speed you can override that manually uh, whenever you wish to just adjust the fan speed accordingly and auto has now gone off uh, we have a heated rear screen and a heated front screen as well this button here will turn off the stop and start this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel the system is off when that light shows Below that, we have a heated driver's seat and passenger seat, both with two heat settings each. And then we have the five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.